Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And our talk topic today is Refinitive Icon. Do you know we can create dashboards on Refinitive Icon? Yes, that is exciting and that is easy. We use the Data Stream Chart Studio. And how do we access the Data Stream Chart Studio? Using the DS Chart uh, Search. So let's come here. DS chart. DS chart. Where are you? DS chart. Okay, I have no idea why it was not finding at the first place, but here we are. So, okay. This is a chart that I created and we will be doing that together. So a chart with uh, using Amazon. So I compare the share prices with NASDAQ, uh, NASDAQ Composite and, and NASDAQ 100 uh, because Amazon is listed at NASDAQ and also with the US inflation. So very nice dashboard huh so how do we do that so let me clean it okay so this is the one this is the standard the standard here is not a pretty one because it's not a dashboard so to edit so let's just look just like any other search so Amazon it is not a charge so we need to make it or it is a chart but it's not a dashboard so how do we do that just come here and then we want a single pane just like here two equal splitting half two one it means that the first one is larger than the second one that is what we did but we went into three three panes two one one you can create your own just come here and custom and then here, okay, I want two columns instead of one, so four, uh, six panes and so on. So you can change it here. So line two, let's delete it. Line one on the second pane two, NASDAQ composite, here we are. The second one, NASDAQ. 100 but we actually have a orange so let's change the color just click here on the color and line color let's move to uh, green okay and now we have the green uh, so they are very close by the way and then line three we delete it the third one, pane three, USA Consumer Price Index. Here we have the purple one. However, from 1920, there were no Amazon or even no NASDAQ, but it's the uh, numbers that we have for inflation. So how do we change it? Here on data range, start. Let's take only the last five years. Last five years for all of them. See how easy it is. Now, okay, let's add some stuff. So let's add an info that these are the share prices, not return and so on. Just come on plus. New text box on pane one. Share prices. Apply. And then hides. We can add anything that we want. However, so rectangle, a circle, or horizontal line, line annotation, uh, axis marker, standard deviation, forecast. So we can add tons of stuff here. So here is the forecast and so on. So we can add tons of stuff. And by the way, we can also 
check the data. So if we click data, we have all of our data here. And then charge, we go back to the, to the dashboard. How do you, you add a, a title? A title is kind of not so user friendly. On view, you must go to chart settings. And then title, date, frequency, so Amazon or Amazon analysis or anything else. So you can uh, change the background color, for instance, for this one and okay. So you change the background color uh, and so you can change. Ah, man, I don't like it. So you can come on the undo and okay, okay. And so chart settings, let's change the title again, and that's it. So, and then you can change everything if you want to go back to your series and data here. So line two, we can delete it. And you can add anything you want or add another line, not only at Amazon. Let's look on Starbucks too. I have no idea why are they together, but here looking at Starbucks, so we can add work on the charts in independently, or we can work them together when we work here on all of them. So that is how we can do it. And here we can find a lot of stuff about Starbucks and so on. And how do you export it? There is some tools to export it. Usually they don't work, but a very good way. You come here, copy chart image to clipboard. However, this function is not available on the web browser, on the web version of Refinitive Icon, only on the app. So here, and then let's open the Word file, chart copied. Let me, okay, let's open it here and paste it. We have our dashboard. So very user-friendly, easy if we know what we are doing and even come here with the source LS, EG, data stream and so on. Very good uh, info and so on, so you can switch between charge and data. So very, very useful for any analysis. Okay, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Questions or comments, just add them here or email me. And have a very nice day and God bless you.